Governor Andy Bashir pulled off a miracle four years ago politically. He beat the incumbent Matt Bevin and proved that it was possible for Democrats to win in deeply Republican states. And now he's running as an incumbent with a record that has been criticized and applauded. Wave News reporter David Mattingly profiles Bashir as part of Wave's Decision 2023 coverage. Myra, shortly after his headline-making 2019 victory, Andy Bashir co-wrote an editorial that was published by the Washington Post. And here's what it said. If Democrats can remember politics is still local and deliver policies to solve problems for the families we represent, Democrats can win anywhere. And in this campaign for governor, Bashir appears to be following his own advice. And folks, I think we're at this point because this ticket, yes, we run as proud Democrats, but we realize the moment you win, you take that hat off and you serve every single family in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, everyone. Andy Bashir is a political unicorn and he knows it. He made the impossible possible, becoming a Democratic governor in a deeply red state. Well, I hope the lesson to Democrats or Republicans is work hard, do a good job, try to be a good person, and care about everyone. It doesn't have to be that complicated. That appeared to be a formula for success. Bashir was on daily talking to the state during the pandemic. He was a compassionate Yesterday, voice in the aftermath the of devastating tornadoes and floods. In July, polling by Morning Consult ranked Bashir as the nation's most popular Democratic governor. But on election day, if Bashir wants to win again, he can't do it without Republican voters. And we find his stump speeches loaded with themes of common interests and common values. The fact that most things that families care about aren't bipartisan, they're nonpartisan. And that we shouldn't be moving a state to the right or the left, but moving it forward for every family. In 2019, Bashir squeaked past Matt Bevin, one of the least popular governors in the country, by a razor-thin 5,000 votes. Now facing Daniel Cameron, Bashir is challenged to build on that tiny margin of victory and he often focuses on his record on the economy. Just think, we're coming off our two best years for economic development in the history of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. But with days left to the election, the question remains, can Bashir pull off another political miracle to become a Democrat leading a state dominated by Republicans? Are you ready to win this election? Let's get out there, let's win, and let's build the commonwealth our kids truly deserve. God bless. Thank you all very much. And on election night in Kentucky, the nation will be watching for clues as to what might happen next year in the races for Congress and the White House. Reporting live, David Mattingly, Wave News.